November of last year, a small indie game came and kind of had like the gaming community by its balls. Everyone was playing it. If you play computer games, you probably know what I'm talking about. Lethal Company. It became a huge success that might have just saved multiplayer horror games. And I know that's a large claim, but let me explain myself. It's gonna it's gonna take a little bit to understand. I, I believe you can keep up with me. We need to talk about gameplay loops. <laughs> If you're unfamiliar with the term gameplay loop, it's kind of like the core elements of a gameplay, what a game will fall back to. For example, Elden Ring. You go and kick the world's ass until you run into a boss. The boss tickles your toes a little bit, eats your ass, and then you try and try again until either you have a mental breakdown and you break your remote in rage and you become depressed. I'm going to get into like a simpler gameplay loop now. Think of Pac-Man. Eat the dots, avoid ghosts, go again. Do you see where I'm going with this? I think you do. And Lethal Company has a very fun and unique loop, to be honest. You fly to a planet, go collect scrap with a few peeps, sell the scrap, repeat. What? Oh, and you will die, like a lot. Even with all the examples I provided to, there's a little bit of that spice there. If you're expected to uh, collect a certain amount to keep your profit quota up, to keep the space monster Bezos happy, you fly to new moons, experience new monsters, experience new places, new things, yeah, and you get to play with a lot of new toys as like the time goes on. Like a lot of new toys. There's a jetpack. I'm probably gonna kill myself doing this. How do you do that? <laughs> oh, I wanted to just turn up. There's always something new to experience. And the crazy thing? Most people are okay with dying in this game. And that doesn't happen in a lot of games. Most of the time you die is because you fucked up. No, no, no. no. I'm out. I'm out. no! While you are dead, you get to watch your friends or like the other players, you get to watch through their perspective. And some of the best clips I have personally gathered have been through that and many others. Get ready to close the door. Get ready to close the door. Get ready to close the door. Fuck. Oh, well. I'm going with that is every day is a toss-up and there's only so much you can do how you navigate the world and how your play styles differ that's really what everything comes down to this game has by far one of the most innovative like you know in-game of uh, chatting you know voice where you guys can talk to each other of any game ever and if you can, you want to see a video on that let me know because i feel like i could talk about that forever and i'm trying not to do that right now i'm actually really trying not to because it there is so much to it i know this is a lot of praise as someone that plays indie multiplayer horror games as like their main hobby but there's nothing that stands out with this game that's such a big nitpick that i have to be like nah nah don't play this game you should get it it's super fun and it's cheap this game is ten dollars as i'm making this video i want to talk about how they're releasing updates for this game and how they have pledged to keep making good updates which is kind of important seeing as uh there are some games that don't do it in ways uh i would like to see them do it isn't that right phasma i agree with how the dev plans on releasing updates for this game and it's because they're not uh doing what i like to call the slow drip feed of updates I'm still not looking at you, Phasmophobia. I swear I'm not making fun of you. I swear! They want to, except for like, obviously bug updates and stuff like that. They want new content to come out as like a big release. Something that new players can enjoy. Something that old uh, time players can come back and enjoy. Like, you know, a, go a bunch of new content. They don't want to like just slow drip feed it. And that's something I think is really, really good. This is slightly off topic, but Escape the Backrooms. We had made a uh, three part video series on it and it had a major update. It came back. And it it was like a whole new 20 levels and that, that was awesome that's a shit i like to see honestly it looks like some of the content updates that have come to lethal company came almost directly from like you know a mod pack it just seems like it and i love that i love that the, the like developer is willing to take a step back and be like oh shit this fan of my game made something awesome i just see updates coming for a long time uh continuous monetization on a cheap game like this is something that honestly is really 
really important. It keeps the game flow. It keeps the developer, you know, motivated. It keeps players motivated. Give us something that we can buy to make ourselves look pretty. We've been fortnite bro. League of Legends did it first. Technically, Barbie's Playtime Adventure did it before League of Legends. Have you noticed that a lot of like the new big horror game, especially in like the indie genre, is very samey. Uh, let me give you a game synopsis so you can see if you're feeling what I'm feeling. Someone goes a bit crazy and kills a bunch of kids and usually does something horrifying with their body. Even if you love it, there has definitely been some fallout from Five Nights at Freddy's, for better or worse. And that's coming from someone that absolutely loves the Five Nights at Freddy's community, especially the fan game community. I think the fan game community is gonna push out some like the best of, uh, game developers of the future. Glitch Attraction, JR's, FNAF Rewritten, it's so, there's so many others too! A lot of the current coming out releases in that like genre have very similar themes. And by the way, I wasn't talking about FNAF in my earlier synopsis, that was actually Bon Bon. A game I have some very strong feelings for. Very strong feelings. Ebbs and flows with storylines happen a lot. Like, especially if you're paying attention for it. There has just been a lot of that story recently, and I'm not gonna lie. You can always draw a good amount of comparison. You can call it inspiration. Some call it copying. Us professionals call it inspiration of course there's many notable horror games that i'm not talking about here that don't have that storyline nothing may have gone as mainstream as phasmophobia phasmophobia was one of the first modern like multiplayer indie uh horror games that honestly blew up completely organically because of how unique and fun it was at the time it was released by a small team that didn't know how much it would pop off and since then we've gone egypt phasmophobia just the jump scares phasmophobia but a lot of them did uh, pull a bunch of inspiration. Many of these games were fun and they spawned their own communities. And that's fantastic. There's just like that, uh, that certain taste in the air that I was talking about earlier, or the certain lack of that spice, that taste in the air, like uh, 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 we call it bland. It's like me cooking a steak. I add no peppers and no seasoning to my steak. It's like I took that steak and just put it through the wash a few times just to see what it would come out and taste like. Lethal Company was one of the first indie horror games to pop off recently that didn't just feel like another copy paste. Get scrapped or get fucked. And I'm cool with that. Just like the company, your life is cheap. Life in this universe, and I'm saying in the uh, Lethal Company, life in the Lethal Company universe isn't valuable it's cheap you're not there to cherish your character or get attached to any way because you will die often you will die even the best of the best players die all the time the streamers just saw other streamers play and they're like you know what i'm in let's try this so many people tried the game and they loved it so much and contests are flying around everywhere for it and let's be honest the clips in lethal company they go hard <laughs> Just for perspective, Lethal Company outsold Call of Duty for a month. This game made by a single developer outsold Call of Duty. Whenever Call of Duty just has had like a new release. And the fact it looks like a PlayStation 2 game. And it has a very low bar of entry. And its deaths are brutal and often hilarious. The rounds are fast. It's easy to learn. You are rewarded for learning. You're big time rewarded for learning this game. But most importantly, it's just fun. It captures the great balance of you being in control and just living in this brutal hellscape of a world. There's always this level of fear because you have this deadline looming over your head. Time is running out. Now you have to pursue riskier moves. Harder planets, staying on the planet for longer. And it blends all of this together into this like amazing atmospheric game. And it adds some monsters and some amazing in-game chat capabilities. Go try it. It's a ton of fun. And have a good day. Remember to take a shower. Bye peeps. Bye.